curly thingy, I... and it doesn't have legs. Okay. Internet, does that look like a centipede to you? Oh, you know what? This it's kind of curvy. Is centipede? Did... Why not? No. Why not? This kitten is telling you, mm-mm. Nope. Mm -mm. That's exactly what the kitten says with the creepy demon eyes. Mm, the creepy demon eyes. Okay. Those are cute eyes. So yes. So cute. So cute. Yeah, so cute. Demon cat. Not demon. Okay, so, um, continuing on where we last left off a couple of hours ago. Um. <clears throat> I hope I gave him a, oh. Oh, no. Did it fall on his crab dad? Of course not. That would just be... That sounds painful. Well, I mean, he's alive, so that's good. Sounds like someone downstairs is getting pretty crabby. This is not an encounter you were looking forward to. You'll probably put it off as long as you can manage. <laughs> eh? What kind of weird-ass fucking angle is this? You're looking up, sort of. Like at a skylight? Sure, or at a half skylight with a tilted-down roofy thing. Ceiling. Roofy. Whatever. Oh. Oh, no wonder it's so incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> Blar! Why, who's this young lady? Oh, dear. Or young man, according to a lot of people who don't know I'm stuck. Your name is Terezi, and I say it funny. Don't laugh at me. Pyrope? <laughs> it's because it there said no Tennessee laughing. Pirate Bay when I tried to say her name <laughs> in the search thing, so I have like to... a pyrope garden or something? Well, I don't know. Pyrope. But I like pyrope. Fine, do it pyrope. It's like Bay. Joe Dirte, not Joe Dirt. Oh, no. <laughs> She'll insist that there's an accent on the E. Of course. You are pretty enthusiastic about dragons, but you have a particular affection for their colorful scales, which you gather and use to decorate your hive. Though you live alone, deep in the woods, you surround yourself with a variety of plushy pals known as scale mates. You often spend your days with them in rounds of live-action role-playing. You used to engage in various forms of more extreme role-playing with some of your other friends before you had an accident. You take an interest in justice, holding particular fascination for orchestrating the demise of the wicked. You have taken up study of brutal Alternian law and surround yourself with legal books. You have no need for copies printed in Troll Braille. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, that's good. That's scary. I mean, in their society. Okay, you have something wrong with you. Let's just call you. Wait, what? There's Troll I get Braille. Troll Louis Braille totally invented it, don't you know? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> because you can smell and taste the words. You hope one day to join the honorable ranks of the legislators. That's two different A's combined into one. Because you have legislation and lacerators, so... Legislacerators or legislacerators? Slacerators. Yes. That, yes. Okay, I'm probably going to fuck that up like 20 times That's and perfect. switch pronunciations like as many times. Your Pronunciations? Troll Did you say... I said pronunciations. Okay, I wanted to make sure... I pronunciated it properly. Okay, Do you great. want to conversate about it? No, I don't. We're good. We're so good. <laughs> Your troll tag is Gallows Calibrator and you speak with the numerals the blind prophets once used. You are presently the leader of the Red Team, poised to begin a mysterious game with five other friends in direct competition with another six of your friends comprising the Blue Team. What will you do? And I was going to stop for a moment, and when they talked about the way that she can still read by, you know, smelling and tasting words, I kept thinking about the one part in Star Trek The Next Generation where they show what Geordi's visor actually makes happen. And I sort of imagined that, in that she can, like, almost see the clouds of color in a not-seeing sort of way. <laughs> It's hard to describe, and they said, you know, oh, already your vision field just looks like a bunch of blah. And he's like, well, you learn to kind of discern all the noise, because it shows, like, 20 different kinds of infrared thing at once. Cut to the chase and begin LARPing immediately. <laughs> His honorable tyranny? I don't know what's going on here. Are those, like, the seats for the people to sit in the... Definitely. Yeah, and that's a yeah. noose and some... Dude with big That's horns. a noose, yes. That's definitely a noose. It a very, definitely is. Very beautiful, tasty shade of green. It's pretty hard to live action role play when there is no one who is alive nearby, but all of your scare mates are alive to you. At least you pretend to believe that to annoy people. That was my favorite. <laughs> you prepare a new campaign for one of your favorite scenarios, Court Block Drama. His honorable tyranny presides. On trial is an especially detestable fellow, Senator Lemon Snout. You have sparred with this scumbag before. Tonight he faces justice. I will say every time the word justice comes up. You will play the role of the prosecuting attorney. On Alternia, there is no such thing as a defense attorney or a defense. In a court block, the word defense itself is offensive. 
interrogate. Yep. I like it. <laughs> what did I do? What do you mean, what did he do? Senator Lemon's doubt. Oh, he's just the worst. Most of the interrogation is in the intimidating silence. This sounds about right. Slap him around a bit. It's like tiny slaps, it's like a slap. Yep. Just testing the waters. I'm oh. surprised she was able to hit his face properly instead of being like... Dude, how can you miss that taste <laughs> and smell? Bright lemon flavor. <laughs> yes. Oh no, it's doing it again. Goodbye, internet. Where? Oh, where? And settled. Slap. You don't want to slap too hard, enough to sing, but not to bruise. It must be methodical, bit dislike, and persistent. You only stop when you smell tears. So you never stop. <sighs> Mr. Senator, you smell very nice. Your luscious yellow scales are like the sweetest gumdrops to the prosecution's nose. But your deceit stinks. Did you honestly think you could dip your corpulent snout into the imperial beetle coffers like that and get away with it? Did you think your revolting abuse of a public trust would go unnoticed? Think again, good senator. While well, the prosecution may be blind, rest assured the League of Legislators sees all. Call witness. It's actually really cute. <laughs> oh, well played, Lemon Snout. Well played. The prosecution's key witness, murdered. How convenient! The court block has little choice but to acknowledge your cunning. You have earned just a teensy sliver of your respect back. For now. But wait. Oh my, what have we here? Shocking developments! <laughs> that was awesome. Good. Dana. Oh, come on, MS Paint Adventures. Don't fail on me now. Come on. Ooh. Oh, they're kind of cute. I know. And beetly. The prosecution begs your pardon, dear Senator, but you appear to have dropped something. A personal satchel, perhaps? Chock full of illicit embezzled beetles with which you have the unmitigated cheek to waltz before his tyranny, concealed beneath your ill-gotten finery? <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution requests a short recess from his honorable tyranny so that all law-abiding and mother grub- <laughs> Mother- Mother grub is God? May go outside and puke. Sentence the criminal. <laughs> oh, I like this coin. As the prosecutor, it is your job to reach a final verdict and sentence the reprehensible felon, while his tyranny watches in silence and submits grim approval. But you take pity on this miserable bureaucrat. You are feeling merciful. You will give him a fighting chance. You will flip a double-headed troll, Kygar? Yeah, sure. Why are you asking me how to pronounce shit? I'm just wondering if it's based on Kaiser. Um, to decide his fate. Okay. Yes. Yes. You do this quite often when making important decisions. Kind of like Batman's nemesis, Two-Face. Or that guy from No Country for Old Men, which I never saw. It turns out there are lots of badasses out there flipping coins. But those are Earth things, and you've never heard of them. It's safe to say you borrowed this gimmick from one of the many, many troll things out there that's got hard-boiled dudes flipping coins for major stakes. You base the habit on which everyone smells the most badass. Hmm. Smells like sweaty mangrid. Flip. Pling. Look at him. Oh no! Sweating bullets. Yeah, I don't like the looks of this. The coin tumbles through the air. Lemon snout is sweating bullets. Tink. A favorable flip. The senator exhales in relief. Oh no. But what are you so happy about, Mr. Lemon snout? He looks a bit confused. He quivers his lily proboscis at the coin. See, the coin has exonerated him. Coin? What coin? Surely you jest, Mr. Senator. The prosecution sees no coin. She's blind, remember? <laughs> He's like, yee, oh no. This is like... She takes out all amazing. of that aggression on her little skin mates. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now something I saw in Tumblr makes 20 times more sense. Oh hey, go figure, Miss Spoilery. <laughs> all the spoils. All of them. I didn't know it was spoilers at the time. I just thought it was something funny. What is? Somebody was sleeping over their their friend's house or something. Or it was her sister. They had bunk beds or whatever. But in the middle of the night, she just drops a teddy bear on a noose. <laughs> and then, like, somebody reblogged it and put a picture of Carcat lying in bed. And there's a scale made on a noose hanging in front of him. And now I get it.
And that's really kind of adorable and scary at the same time. <laughs> I like the tree. Mm -hmm. I would totally want to live there. Adjourn. Another try it for justice. The court block is adjourned. You offer final salutations to his tyranny in the customary manner. Okay, that's not customary at all. You're just kind of weird. Goodbye. <laughs> no, thank you. It's just that your red chalk is the most delicious chalk. You can't get enough of it. Anyone who says there is a more delicious chalk out there simply reeks of deceit. And now I finally found an application for that chalk you gave me, like, that many years ago. God damn, how many years was it? Like, seriously, that three? That was three, maybe four years ago. I think it was three years ago. You got me that for Christmas? I don't remember. Or my birthday. All I know is you have to make his honorable tyranny now. It was obviously. my 20th birthday, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. I just remember you like drawing, and I thought, hey, there's a lot of I fucking did the dragon stuff out on the front of Lee Wicker in chalk, and then you got me the chalk, and I was like, yay, but I haven't used it. It's today. Well, thanks. Well, I'm so glad it was it useful. No. Well, okay. now I have a use for it. Yes, yes, you do. And eat it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, no. <laughs> you sure had to go to a lot of trouble to do that. I like them. I like everything here. Oh, God. I like how it unsmudged between then and then. Mm -hmm. Go get cane. Please. Locks. Please. You take your walking cane, which you use as a weapon, kind of like Earth Daredevil, who you never heard of. You will use it to wallop enemies when you enter the medium, which you've also never heard of. Or maybe you kind of heard of, vaguely. What's going on over here? That's a scale mate being eviscerated, maybe? I'll buy it. I love the carpet. A lot. No wonder she and Dave get along. Sweet bro and Hella Jeff must taste amazing to her. Probably. Yes. <laughs> it's quite. Wallop. Like this. <laughs> Begin recruiting red team members. Our blind and fearless leader. <gasps> Actually, that's how my contact lenses feel on a daily <laughs> basis. Your nose begins scouring your chump roll for the saliva smears on your monitor for potential teammates so you can start playing. Mm, no, not her. Nope, not her either. Definitely not that guy. Okay, how about this girl? You like to roleplay with her sometimes via chat. You pretend you are a member of the mysterious and noble Dragonid race. Well, she does her own goofy thing. You don't have it in your heart to tell her that you, your chat RPing is meant facetiously. I mean facetiously. Troll AC? Do I have an Ipita voice? I don't know. I think I said I was going to do it like my normal voice. Like yes. John's would a pitch higher. Yes. Okay. We talked about that like two nights ago or something. It was a while ago. Gallus Calibrator GC began trolling Arsenic Catnip AC. GC lands on your whelping stool and raps on your cave with her noble and elegant talon. And once with her mighty snout for good measure. AC saunters from her dark cave a little bit sleepy from the recent kill. AC uses one of her mouths to lick the fresh blood off her paws, and the other one to blow you a kiss. <gasps> GC, with a mighty whisk of her mighty tail, plucks the kiss out of the air mightily. With might. <laughs> yes, quite so. <laughs> it's so cute. It's adorable. This is actually how I RP, so I'm like, yes! GC pockets the kiss in her enchanted rucksack for later to do something magical, like make goblin wishes come true. Yes, AC finds that to be a most admirable use of the kiss. She thinks that goblin wishes need to come true, too, just like any other kind of person's wishes. AC begs her pardon while she rips apart this tasty beast to prepare a meal for one of her cups. GC eyes the beast hungrily and mightily. Uh-oh. GC eyes the cubs hungrily and mightily, especially mightily. Don't you dare. I mean, AC shouts, don't you dare, indignantly. <laughs> but it is too late. GC scoops up a plump cub with her glistening majestic tail and flies off magically. The innocent cub is crying and crying and crying. AC says no and looks a bit crestfallen. A bit crestfallen. Just a bit. Just a bit. Yep. She can, you know, kind of shoot out more. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> AC gets a clever idea to slake the majestic dragon's mighty hunger. She prepares a lion's share of the slain armored collar bear. Collar? Collar? I don't. Well, yes. Collar. Like that. Yeah. Yes. Collar bear for GC. Hmm? GC's magnificent curiosity has been perked. Is it a bull collar bear? Oops, she asked that. 
AC pauses a moment and nods knowingly with a couple of smug grins on her face. She confirms it is indeed the bulliest of bears. JC instantly loses interest in the puny cub and drops to the ground far below! But as it happens, the really cute cub lands in a bush safe and sound. Phew. JC's alarming and splendiferous girth settles over the succulent collar bear steak. When she finishes the savory red meat, she lifts her proud, wise head and opens her great big mouth and speaks the ancient tongue of a thousand wisdoms. She says, hey, do you want to play a game with me? <laughs> AC crinkles up her nose and prepares for a really unprecedented marathon of baffling feline obstinacy. Her dragon yeti suitor, it's like Kashik, I guess, <laughs> will make neither rhyme nor reason of her perplexing behavior for even an instant. No, no, that was a real question. Want to play a game? Oh, <laughs> okay, if you mean a computer game, then yes, that sounds like fun. Okay, you can be on my team. Team? Who else is playing? I haven't decided yet. A whole bunch of us in two teams. Oh, well, it does sound like it would be a lot of fun, but I think I should get permission first. Blah, that's so stupid. He's not the boss of you. I know, but still, I'm kind of scared of him, and I think perhaps it's best to run it by him first so there isn't a kerfuffle about it or anything. This is stupid in such a terrible myriad of dumb ways. You shouldn't be afraid of anyone. You kill big animals with your bare hands! And in any case, he lives nowhere near you, so the whole thing is extra stupid. I know, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. I'll just mention it casually, and it'll be fine, I'm sure, and then we can play it just a little bit. <sighs> fine! In the meantime, I'll go round up some more people to play. Okay. Troll TC. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And then you have this. And finally. <laughs> finally. We finally. finally get to that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how long did that take? <laughs> uh, well. It was fun in the past. Not so much when you have all these new voices. Yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with how um, AC's turned out. Conversation we already read. No luck in getting this guy to play with you right now either. You guess that leaves. <gasps> Carkles. <laughs> no! It doesn't ever happen in canon! I know. It just. But we're gonna call it Derf Cat Carkles. You may. It's Carkly. I will allow it. I will allow this. Carkle Sparkle. Nope. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Not Car Cat. If you're only going to ask him as a last resort, you wonder what he wants. He'll try to avoid mentioning the game. Hopefully, he hasn't caught wind of it yet. Yeah, there's a hope of that. <sighs> Deal with Car Cat. <laughs> he grew his eyebrows again. <laughs> I love it. Carcinogeneticist CG began trolling Gallus Calibrator GC. Hey, guess what? Big news. Like, holy shit, stop the presses. This is a humongous deal sort of news. Blah, ha, ha, what is it? You're not the red team leader. That's me. I'm the leader. It's been decided. On an official basis. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to make a big stink about this and say, wah, wah, I want to be the leader. <laughs> What? No. I mean, you, you can, but it won't do any good, because I'm the leader, and that's all there is to evacuate through your protein shoot on the matter. Well, it may surprise you to know that I don't give a crap who gets to be the leader, because, unlike you, I actually have a fucking smidgen of maturity and self-respect. Just a smidgen. <laughs> Just like, you know, a bit, Chris Fallen. <laughs> they only do things a little bit, you know? Trolls are never over the top. No. no never. Very they only do things a bit at a time. Yes. Quite. They don't overcommit. Of course not. <clears throat> That's a lie. You're more of a well drama spaz queen than me. And you know it, and the stuff you're saying is a pretend stunt. You're like a rocket-propelled spaz maggot spring-loaded up the ass of a psychedelic fucking freak-out weasel on idiot drugs. So let's not play make-believe games here. Leader, me. Ugh, car cat, I don't care. You can be the stupid leader. I just want to play the game. Okay, great. If it's any consolation, I have selected you to be my second in command. Really? Swoon! Oh, well, hello. Hi. <laughs> I accept this. This is way fun. <laughs> Fuck you! Offer rescinded! Okay, but seriously. I would have suggested you be the leader, but honestly, it comes with serious responsibilities, and I wasn't sure if you were up to it. How could you think that? I'm an incredible leader with all kinds of prioritization and command skills. I'm going to rock the cock off this weather vane, and the blue team will wish they never slithered out of the mother grub's heinous, undulating asshole. So just give me the full briefing. What do you know? Okay, the thing you need to know is the leader starts out by running the client application. Well, I, the lowly second officer, 
connects to you with the server while I remain generally in awe of your manly grandeur. And I sit at my computer doing menial chores in support of your heroic escapades, which honestly I don't think you're ready for, but whatever. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was made for. Being in charge of adventure, running around and stuff, and fucking shit up like a goddamn hero with a ripper wasp and his jock. Let's get cracking here. Launch your server or whatever. I'll install the hero program. <laughs> Car you turn into somebody else talking to her. It's so Basically, cute. Basically, yes. The client. Yeah. Okay, you insist. Far be it from me to stop you from being so dashing and courageous. And to be perfectly honest, a little bit handsome. Yes, exactly. Now you're making sense. This is the kind of thing that sane people say. Keep at it, there's hope for you yet. Okay, I'll try. Anything to get you to stop being such a baby. What's a baby? Oh, it's like a mythical little pink monkey. Something my loosest dreams about. I thought you didn't have one. I don't. Yet. I'm not allowed to. Why not? Why have you never mentioned this, anyway? Honestly, Terezy, it sounds like more frothing loony block nonsense. If I ever did have one, it would mean the world was coming to an end. Oh, thank God, you just said something normal. I was starting to worry there. Phew, back in sane land. It's true. I don't completely understand it, but that's what it told me. We need to get you out of that fucking tree and into a proper goddamn lawn ring. You've been stunted living up there by the whispers of fucking bark gnomes or something. I think one of my neighbors was just cold recently. Maybe you could live there. No way, screw lawn rings. More like yawn rings. I love my tree. But you're welcome to visit sometime. It's especially nice in the third autumn. Okay, well, speaking of that, I should go downstairs and deal with this grumpy customer. It's going to fondle major seed flat, but hopefully it'll be quick. You can establish your connection and do your trivial sidekick stuff, I guess, in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little later. <coughs> it's so tasty. Car cat. Yep. Durr. Durr. <laughs> Whoa. Well, okay. After the Night of Blood's heroic arrival to the land of Pulse and Haze. For a second, I thought it said Pulse and Hate, and I was like, yes, hate! <laughs> of course. I love it. You quickly crafted a new weapon, Home Smell You Later, plus some other cool stuff. Deal with Terezy. <laughs> Just shout into this. Carcinogeneticist CG began trolling Gallus Calibrator GC. You can see me, right? Tell me what is wrong with this picture. No, I can't see you, dumbass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, press your nose against your slobbery screen and tell me what is wrong with this picture. Smells pretty terrible. That's because you just took a hard drag of my load gaper, which for some reason I have discovered outside on this little island. You mean your toilet? Well, ooh la la. Excuse my disdain for your blue-blooded vernacular. What color is your blood? Whoa, none of your business. Seriously, was that a serious question? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> I will find out someday. <laughs> just bite you. <laughs> Don't want me to bite me. <laughs> what is it with your obsession with colors? It's bad enough you waste all my hard-earned grist rambling my hive around like, like that, not even in the direction of the fucking gate. But then you go and spend it on an ugly paint job. I get a lot of imps for that grist. Harkat, please. Don't pretend you didn't enjoy going around killing things. And that you wouldn't enjoy killing a whole lot more. Prancing around with your little sickle being all adorable. Yeah, right. More like adorable bloodthirsty. I'm prancing around being that, okay? <laughs> At least he admits to prancing. <laughs> yes. Anyway, this is awful. There is no way for a leader to be treated. Sorry, this is what you wanted. The leader is the first one in. This is what the leader is supposed to do. No, this is not anything except for what bullshit is. A leader shouldn't be at the mercy of the hive rotivation whimsy of a psychotic blind girl. When do I get the chance to fuck up someone's hive? I should be the next one to connect to a client. No, you can't. You have to be the last one to connect to complete the chain. More lies. Think of it this way. I'm your server player, so priority has to be on me getting in the game before I get killed by meteors. In which case, you'd be screwed in there. Then the next guy comes in, then the next, and you bring the last one in. Wait, what? Meteors? What the fuck are you talking about? What does this have to do with meteors? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You need to get with the program, car cat. Have you talked to AA? 44 what? Apocalypse Arisen. Sorry. <laughs> no, of course not. Or TA. Or AG, I guess. Or C4. <laughs> C4. CA. <laughs> C4. It's explosive. Get it? Meteors exploding? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. 
really, there's like this whole conspiracy about this, as I'm finding out. Well, why don't you just tell me so I don't have to talk to any of these double-talking assholes? I can't. I gotta step out of the tree for a moment. When I come back, I will enter the game. See ya. A little while ago. Oh, hello. This looks awfully familiar. La la. It's a dead girl. Mm -hmm. And she is rocking something epic right now. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. Descreed. You're not sure why you did that, really. Though it probably turned out to be a reason. There's a reason for everything. Understanding this lets you be reckless, whoever you are. It's a mystery. A little later, somewhere else inside. I are you serious? Yes. Is that why you didn't say anything when I said that? Yes. I thought you knew. I, I thought didn't you know. Spoiled. I didn't actually know. Oh, I was just making a joke because when I think of the oh, ocean, God, I think I really of Aridin and his blur. Okay, well, there's that. Why the fuck's my bottle of Fega? Um, I do not know what you did with your red pop, but it is not here. I fucking left in the other room. I suck. Okay. Nice bling. Such nice bling. Rubbish from the land dwellers. Makes you sick. Whoever you are. And later still, we return to the land of Pulse and Haze so we can rewind a bit before all that paint got slopped on your hive and before that mysterious hole was made. Man, how'd that hole get made? It was when Carcat ran TA's curse till death program and his computer blew up. That's what happened. We'll see this happen later. It will be startling and unexpected. Yes. And they told me to go in spoiler free. You know what? You know what? It's okay. I'm telling you, it's pretty much impossible to go into Homestuck spoiler free. I did it. I went in. I didn't. I didn't read anything about Tumblr. I did it because I wanted to write some fan fiction for uh, this cool dude. But three days of of reading. That that's all it takes. Like less than really. Well, more now that Cascades yeah. happened. I was but gonna say there was a lot of update. And just a little bit, like just a little year's bit, worth, yeah, yeah. you know. Wow, we're almost a half an hour. <laughs> Whoops. It's like an unsatisfactory amount of things happening. I'm just gonna make a lot of long videos, and by the end, like, a, a couple hundred pages in, I'm gonna be making two hour long videos, and you it's guys gonna are happen. gonna be, like, really bored. Okay, so, um, unexpected things will happen. Deal with crabby customer. Rawr! You go downstairs and confront your custodian, which is another term for a frightening beast known as a lucis naturae. Your lucis has looked after you since you were very young, in lieu of any biological parents whom you've never known. No young troll ever knows his or her blood parents, nor could such lineage ever be accurately traced. Adult trolls apply their genetic material to the filial pails carried by imperial drones and offer to the monstrous mother grub deep underground in the brooding caverns. She then combines all the genetic material into one diabolical incestuous slurry and lays hundreds of thousands of eggs at once. The eggs hatch into young larval trolls which wriggle about to locate a cozy stalactite from which to spin their cocoons. After they pupate, the young troll with his or her newfound limbs undergoes a series of dangerous trials. If they survive, they are chosen by a member of the diverse and terrifying subterranean monster population native to Alternia. This creature becomes a troll's lucis, and together they surface and choose a location to build a hive. The building process is facilitated by carpenter droids left on the planet to cater to the young, but only for building. They're on their own otherwise. The vast majority of adult trolls are off-planet, serving some role in the forces of ongoing imperial conquest, besieging other star systems in the name of Alternian glory. The culture and civilization on the homeworld is maintained almost entirely by the young. Trolls sure are weird! Okay, S, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. No, it wasn't really. No. I guess. It's seizureific, though. Oh, indeed. You leap into the domestic fray in an attempt to mollify your nannying aggressor. After a lot of kicking and fussing and gnashing of teeth and carapace, you pull out a couple... Uh, a few, pull out a few uh, chilled row cubes from the fridge to settle the beast down. Trolls and their custodians have a peculiar arrangement of codependence. The Lucis behaves as a lifelong bodyguard, caretaker, and visceral sort of mentor, while the young troll must learn to function as a sort of zookeeper. We decide to agree this conflict is not a big enough deal to warrant a detailed examination of the action or an embedded musical accompaniment. We also agree that while that would have been pretty sweet, we are also in kind of a hurry here. Sure we are. But if it were to be accompanied by something audible, it would probably sound something like this. What is this? Oh. An mp3 that I guess I'll listen to later? We decide to listen to that track, close our eyes, and imagine what might have been. Wow, that sure was awesome. Anyway, moving on. Wild Solix appeared. <laughs> yes. In fact, we are in such a hurry, you could almost say we need to get moving. Probably. On the double. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there's this pretty cool dude, okay? Some people seem to think he's cool. Sometimes. He guesses they're right. I mean, maybe, if they say so. Actually, you know what? They're right. This guy's dynamite lit in a box of hot shit. Screw the haters. Anyway, he's standing around being all chill, like cool dudes are known to do sometimes, when they're not moping around or nursing migraines or whatever. A cool dude like this probably has a real cool name, or at least a name that doesn't completely fucking suck. Like, at least not the kind of name that belongs to someone you'd want just to perpetually wail on. Maybe just a name that makes you cringe a little, but you guess you can deal with it if you've got to. It's just a guy's name, it's not like it really matters. Who cares? But he probably wouldn't just tell you what it was if you asked. He'd be way too moody for that. In fact, this guy probably thinks you've got some attitude, probably doesn't want a damn thing to do with you. You could always try to guess his name, but instead of that, here's a better idea. Why don't you just fuck off and go to hell? Here, name this kooky broad instead. I guess we'll have to find out next time. Because I want to stop now. Good idea.